in this video, I'm going to share with you 15 web design trends for 2022, some that I love, some that I hate, and one that I absolutely do not understand, but maybe you will. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the digital alchemist and today we discuss web design trends. Now, web design trends in my opinion are like fashion trends. You don't want to follow all of them as soon as you see them at the fashion show because otherwise you may well end up as a fashion victim. Okay, we're gonna jump right in but before we do that, three quick points that I'd like to outline. One, my methodology. So I went to the awards website and in case you don't know, the awards website is the host of the side of the day awards and I picked all websites from the 1st of January 2022 to the 22nd of February 2022 and then I placed them inside a list of announced trends. Now of course most websites overlap in several trends but I try to make it so it only appears in one trend when possible. Two. When I like a trend or a website, it's my own opinion, but of course you are entitled to your own. And when I don't like a trend or a website, it doesn't mean that I'm attacking the designers. Like if you don't like Brussels sprouts, and I wouldn't blame you, no matter how good they're prepared by a top chef, you still won't like it. But it doesn't mean that the chef made a bad work. But as a professional web designer, I put my personal preferences aside and I give priority to what my client actually needs. So I'm open enough to implement trends that I don't really fancy and vice versa. And three, in this video, I'm going to talk about what I label the chaos trend with one single website in it. And I absolutely don't understand why. See, I can't even finish my sentence. Why? Why? I actually could have named this trend. Why? Now, maybe you'll understand, but I don't. So make sure you watch till the end because I absolutely need your help on this one. And of course, I would also share with you my favorite websites out of all the websites we're going to see today, as well as the trends that I absolutely love and the ones I absolutely hate. One, asymmetrical design. So in previous years, website had very clean aligned and pixel perfect design. Well, asymmetrical design is basically the opposite. As you can see here, everything is not aligned. And this one looks actually quite good, but it's not always the case. And if you know my channel, you know what I'm talking about. So here is another example that really illustrates this and another one here. So for example, I don't really understand what's with the really tiny thumbnails that you can't even click. I don't get it. I don't, I just don't. But for the rest, you got some really gigantic typography. I actually like this one here. And here, as you can see, the images are not vertically aligned, which is a trait of asymmetrical design. Images don't have the same size and basically they live their own life. Text is not always aligned. Oh, wait, have you seen this? It's a big inverted mouse pointer. Look, when I hover over the image or if I hover over the text. Now I happen to have created a tutorial about it. So you'll find the link in the description below. Two, brutalism. So according to Google, brutalism in web design is characterized by its raw appearance and experimentality. This is a non-conforming style that rebels against the established web design trends and is known for the use of primary and website colors, gradients, and shadows. Okay, let's check out the rebels. So yeah, it starts right from the beginning, as you can see. And when we scroll, we got flashy colors and we got the flashing images here. Yeah, it's definitely brutalism. Okay, and this one seems to be a rebel too because you can see the letters are all over the place just like the design, but hey, that's the trend. So we got some 1999 colors with some really big, gigantic text, but hey, that's the trend. And as I scroll, the video is growing. And then as I keep scrolling, as you can see, we got the rest of the content. So it's totally, totally brutalism. Now, initially I was going to add another website to this trend, but I decided to keep it apart for its very own trend, the chaos trend that I talked about. So make sure you watch until the end. Three horizontal scrolling now i don't think i need to explain what horizontal scrolling is as you can see on screen but it really only works on the desktop because on mobile there is only so much vertical space now horizontal scrolling has been there for a while so it's not really a new trend now it doesn't really make sense for all industries but for fashion for magazines and for the art industry it's really interesting now what you see on screen right now is actually more than a horizontal scrolling website because as you can see it's got some 3d or fake 3d environment and it's really great because basically it's like you're in a museum you can watch the different paintings you can experience what it would be like to be there now this one even though it looks like art is actually a commercial website for some wine 
and it really looks great in my opinion now i cheated a little bit because this one is not from 2022 it's from 2021 but the reason why i mentioned this website is because i did release a tutorial on how to replicate this website with wordpress and elementor pro and of course you find the link to this video in the description below four scrolly telling now according to google scrolly telling was the term first coined to describe online long form stories characterized by audio video and animation effects so basically scrolly telling uses techniques and effects to grab your attention and to actually tell the story of a brand and it makes you interact with the website so that you become an actor of your browsing session and as mentioned you can combine scrolly telling with other trends to make your website even more trendy now we're not done with scrolling yet because number five is scrolling text elements now we've been used to scrolling text for a long time for example with new stickers on tv and now it's coming to our websites it's not a new trend and i think it's going to be here for a while and by the way if you're interested by this effect guess what i did release a tutorial about that and of course you'll find the link in the description of this video six cgi graphics which stands for computer generated imagery and according to google and wikipedia computer generated imagery is the application of computer graphics to create or contribute to images in art printed media video games simulators and of course websites as you can see here with this sphere and as i scroll down now there's a cone and also here as you can see with this metallic background now this can get quite complex and quite heavy on your computer too or it can be fun, like this little buddy. Seven, interactive experiences. Now to be honest, most web designers are never going to build websites like this. Or like this one, where you can really navigate by just placing your mouse anywhere on the screen and then the canvas is just going to move. But then again, most people are never going to drive a Formula One and it doesn't prevent them from watching the Grand Prix and enjoying their Honda. Interactive experiences can also bring a lot of fun. Like here, I can take this letter and just smash it against the other letters. After a stressful day, this is so stress relieving. Now, interactive experiences can also be interesting for conferences or for expos like you see here with the Expo 2020 of Dubai. Now, I must admit the aliasing is a bit strong on this one. 8. Dark color schemes Now, dark color schemes used to be a lot more trendy last year, but they're still here this year, and I think they're here to stay for a little while longer. And the same is true for websites with a light and a dark theme switcher. Now, once again, I released a tutorial on how to do that with WordPress and Elementor Pro, and of course, you'll find the link in the description of this video. 9. Line work Have you ever heard about Pete Mondrian? Well, according to Google, this Dutch painter is best known for his abstract paintings made from squares and rectangles. He passed away in 1944 and probably never expected his work to influence web design trends. 10. Oversized typography Typography can make or break a website and one of the trends is to make it gigantic. It can really work well when it's well executed, but on the other hand, bad typography on a giant scale is something that you don't want to do. Now on this website, everything is gigantic, not just the text, but I particularly like the typography. I think it's really beautiful and it's well executed. And talking about giant typography, the skin branding agency knows a thing or two about this. 11. Hero sections with less images. Now these last years, we've all been used to full screen visual hero images. Well, one of the trends is to minimize the influence of images and maximize the influence of typography. Just like this website from interactive developer Florent Biffy. Florent is a French freelance interactive developer. And by the way, I checked his portfolio and it seems that many of the website with awards on the awards website are actually his work. I'm not sure, but I looked at a few of these and I mean, it's amazing what he's done. Now, the website you see on screen is his portfolio website, and I'm not too fan of this website, but I absolutely love his work when it comes to some of the work he's done for other brands, and I think it's just amazing. 12, using video. Internet speeds are getting better and better. Video is the majority of the web traffic nowadays, so this trend is probably only going to grow in the future. Now, there are creative ways that videos can be used on websites and I released a nice tutorial if you want to try it for yourself. And of course, you'll find a link to this tutorial in the description below. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the chaos trend. And I didn't even give it a number. That's how chaotic it is. 
Now, no offense to the designers because after all, they won an award. But when I look at this, only one word comes to my mind. Why? Why? As I start scrolling, I just don't get it. It's all over the place. It's just like they want me to leave the website. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, do you understand? Now, if you do understand, we can still be friends. But please let me know in the comments. I don't understand what's going on with this website. Why is it in this list? Why? Why? I'm all for new trends and trying new things. But to me, the main principle of a website is that it should be usable. You should be able to find the information. So let's try this. Ah, uh, Let's take it easy. Only mouse wheel. Okay, let's start. Okay, so maybe now I start to understand why they got this award. So I, I answer my own question. See, when I was preparing this video, I didn't even notice the enter, even though the enter button is gigantic on this website. But I was so confused by everything going on on screen that I didn't even see. So just imagine one of the visitors, they see this website and they're like, nah, man, I'm just out of here. And they wouldn't have seen what I've just shown you. They wouldn't have seen this. So I understand that we try to create things that are really modern, experimental, that kind of stuff. But if people don't get past the first screen, then all the rest of the work is for nothing. Now, please be honest. What did you think of this? Number 13, 3D. Okay, so just for like the interactive trend, most web designers won't play with this. But hey, it's nice to see what can be done. So once again, here is the artistic industry. I mean, this is a museum and it's great. You can just visit, you can read. I mean, you're used to this, but we used to see this in software and now it's a website. Now, once again, I would not use that for all types of industries. And some of these websites look more like video games. I'm actually playing right now with the keyboard. I'm turning and now let me jump. But for more standard websites, it can definitely bring a plus. 14. Retro design. Now this trend could have been called back to 1999 as you can see here with the design, but without the excuse of being built in 1999. 15. Colorful. I could have called this Memphis design even though it's not really Memphis design. Now a quick search on Google tells me that Memphis is an Italian design and architecture movement created in 1980 in Milan. In contrast to previous design movements, Memphis did not follow a manifesto. It was above all a desire to produce furniture with great freedom in reaction to the bourgeois style of the time. Now, some of the big brands like Nike are actually using this trend, as you can see here with Mbappe. And if you don't know who Mbappe is, well, that's a sin. So as I scroll down, can you see, can you spot all of the trends that I mentioned in this video? Except, of course, from the Memphis design itself. Now, what are my favorites when it comes to the websites and the trends we've seen today? And let's start with the websites. Now, the first one is this little buddy, but not only for the little buddy, but really because I like the color scheme. I like how they implemented many other trends that we saw in this video. But the website is so clean, so beautiful. Typography is gigantic, but really nice. I really like what they did here. And in a totally different style, I really like this one, the dark theme one. It's really beautiful. Not many images, but when there is an image, it's perfect. I mean, it really draws your attention on the screen and on the message. The typography is beautiful. And I really like also how they implemented color with subtle touches. It's got the line design. Like I said, it's got many of the trends we talked about. And I really love this navigation. Just beautiful. Now, yes, as mentioned, it implemented a lot of the trends we talked about in this video, but I like the way they executed. it. I like the way they implemented it because sometimes I see some websites, they try to add all of the trends, but then it's not really well executed. But I really like this one. Okay, what about the trends? So as you may imagine, I really like the oversized typography as well as dark theme websites and the line work. And to be really honest, I really hate brutalism, of course, the chaos trend, as well as the retro design and the Memphis design. Maybe I'll change my mind in the future, even though I doubt it. Now, I'm curious about what you think. What are your most hated and most loved trends and websites that you've seen in this video? Now, I really like to know because I want to know what other web designers think of the current state of web design. So please let me know in the comments. Now, a nice looking website always starts with a nice brand identity. 
and I've created a free brand identity guidelines template that you can download on my website for free. Initially, it was made for Affinity Designer, but you can use it with Adobe Illustrator with a workaround. So if you're interested, just go to casino.com forward slash branding and follow the instructions on screen. Now, if you enjoyed this video like this little buddy, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it's only going to take you a split second, but that's going to change so many things for this channel. And if you want more web design goodness and tutorials coming your way, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Now, don't forget, for all the tutorials I've mentioned in this video, you find some links in the description below. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe.